Let my mouth be filled with your praise, that I may sing aloud. My lips shall shout for joy when I sing to you. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen, with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast day of St. Catherine of Siena, one of the doctors of the church for her spiritual writings, especially her book, Dialogues with God in which she reveals deep mystical understanding of the Lord as he speaks to her in prayer. Let us, call, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O oh, Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love, in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service of your church, grant through her intercession that your people, participating in the mystery of Christ, may ever exult in the revelation of his glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. I read from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the whole countryside of Judah and Samaria except the apostles. Devoted, devoted men buried Stephen and a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging out men and women. He handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who have been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Phyllis went to down to the town of Samaria and proclaim the Christ to them. With one accord the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. When they heard, this, heard it and saw the signs he was doing, for unclean spirits were crying out in a loud voice, came out of many, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people. And many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God all the earth. earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come o see the work of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Abraham. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land, through the rivers they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy.
According to John. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me and I will not reject anyone who comes to me. Because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him, may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the Acts of the Apostles, we see the persecution of the church that begins uh, with the death of St Stephen, the first martyr, as a deacon who is stoned to death. He is called a proto-martyr, the first martyr of the early church after the death of Christ. But even though this is a tragedy that this has happened, that persecution broke out, it led to uh, something greater, and that is the spread of the gospel outside of Jerusalem because the disciples were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except for the apostles. And it's in Samaria that they proclaim the gospel to the Samaritans there and send for Peter and John to lay hands on them and to give them the gift of the Holy Spirit in the sacrament of confirmation. In the gospel, Jesus speaks to us about the Eucharist in chapter 6 of the gospel of John. But uh, he has an important point that he makes today, and that is, this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day, that I will not lose anything of what he has given me, but that I should raise it on the last day. The Lord Jesus gives us insight into the will of his own Father, and the two are united in will. His, the Father's will is the same as Jesus' will. They both want the same thing as being one God. And this is a consolation for us to know, too, because sometimes we think of God as someone who is uh, waiting to strike us down or condemn us, and we're fearful of that. But here we see it's the desire of the Lord that we be saved. It does require some cooperation on our part to come to the Lord and to believe in him, but, but it's his desire to give us this gift of salvation. So the Lord in our lifetime then is not going to take us at a moment where we're uh, in the state of serious sin, but rather he will arrange it so that we're hopefully in the state of grace at the end of our life. We pray for that grace then of perseverance, that we can come to the Lord to trust in him, to put our faith in him and receive salvation and be raised on the last day. Let us pray. Knowing that God the Father wills the best for all people, we come to him now with our needs and those of our neighbors. For Catholic missionaries, may God give them strength and courage. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. For judges and all who work in law enforcement, may God the perfect judge bless them with the gifts of wisdom, justice, and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all who bear the burdens of loneliness, infirmity, poverty, the lack of basic necessities. We also pray for those who suffer from the coronavirus. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For the children in this community, may the Holy Spirit help them grow in grace and knowledge of God's saving power. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For all who have died, may Jesus accept them to himself and bring them everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in a special way today for Charles Made and Loretta Workus, for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. O Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood and religious life. We pray to the Lord. O Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we offer all these prayers as well as our prayers in our own hearts. We make them in the name of Jesus, your Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that, instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, all, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and John our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, God you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
If we walk in the light as God is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his Son, Jesus Christ, cleanses us from all sin. Hallelujah. Spiritual communion and prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it nourished the life of St. Catherine. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.